In today's video, I'm going full Frankenstein and mashing up famous logos. Will they be blessed or cursed? Let's find out. The first logo I'm going to do is Starbucks and Pringles. So I'm going to just like select the Pringles man. Okay, let's bring him in. Kind of looks a bit odd there, doesn't he? I'm going to change him to a white. It's going to look terrible for a minute. I promise you it'll get better. We'll bring this to the white and we'll just scale this guy up. I want it to be around here, but it does mean that the Starbucks logo, we need to kind of make some room for him. Do this right now. Create sort of like a barrier. I might have to like switch him around a tiny bit to get him to fit in there. What would this look like on like an, an actual product, like a Pringles can? That's what I want to know. Okay, so I've got a Pringles can here. We need to somehow bring him in. So I'm going to choose the color of the Pringles can. I'm going to just copy this one. Do we do the Starbucks color or do we do the Pringles red? We'll do the Pringles red. That seems like the best color for this to make more of a mashup. Right, so we'll bring that in, screw them down a little bit. Now, I don't know if I want it to be kind of large. I kind of like the look of it being large. We don't really have a logo type yet for him. I like the Pringles logo. It has that cool like triangle appearance. So what if I was to like go into Illustrator and create that? Okay, we've got Pringles here. What I'm going to do, create a little shape. I'm going to create that iconic. Is it iconic? I mean, the other one was more iconic, I think. I'm going to do this. Make that green for now. Make this white. Okay, I'm going to go into path. No, I'm not. I'm going to go into envelope this stop and make with top object. We should have our Pringles right there. Bring this fella back in. That looks like it would do for now as a Pringles thing. Bring that back into here. So we'll go smart object for now. The green doesn't particularly work. I'm going to choose an orange in Illustrator. Bring that back in. Okay, I kind of like the look of this Pringles bit here, but it needs something else. I think the color isn't right, but we can fix that pretty quick. And with this, I'm going to just cut out all the letters. Kind of looks a bit strange with the actual Pringles man there. Let's give it some depth. So create a new layer on top. We'll create a nice gradient going down. Change the opacity. Create a new layer. We're going to do some of the cool lighting over the top. Then at the bottom, I'll probably make the hardness to zero. Just do a quick shadow at the bottom. I think the white is kind of a strange white. There we go. That's more like it. With this highlight, I'm going to just overlay that too. What would it look like with the Starbucks green? I mean, this looks kind of strange because it's trying to do two things at once. Trying to make it either more Pringles-y or more Starbucks-y. Okay, so there's the final of the mashup. That's Pringles and Starbucks. I'm kind of happy with that. Um, what do you think? Is it blessed or is it cursed? I, I really don't know. I think a Netflix and Subway would be hilarious. Okay, I think the font for this is Helvetica. So I'm just going to write Netflix and we'll choose a Helvetica. But all I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this to the right slightly to try and fit the same angles. Let's create an arrow, first of all. I'm going to cut this in the hopes that I can create a cool arrow. I think I want it to be kind of like this way. If I'm going to copy the actual subway one up here, it kind of needs to curve round. That's not too bad yet. That definitely needs to come down there. Oh, that doesn't look too bad at all. Maybe just move this slightly in. I'm going to copy this. And I'm just going to copy the same arrow. Here's a little tip for anyone that wants to just copy something. Use your shape builder tool. And then we'll just fix the X there. It's not perfect, but we can make it perfect. Maybe, I hope. <laughs> Scooch him up a little bit real quick. It's all about this path here. Maybe I should have just used a stroke. That might have been easier. Okay, that, that doesn't look too bad. I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate that up here to make a copy. Let's just merge them all together. Right, the next bit. I'm going to do an offset. Let's offset this to the same sort of color. Do I just bring that up a bit? There's a lot of like space in there. Oh my goodness, that looks crazy. Oh, I forgot the register trademark bit. Okay. <laughs> There's the Netflix and Subway. I essentially just created the Subway and wrote Netflix, but that's cool. That's a, that, that could work, couldn't it? What about the Netflix icon? I think this is quite easy to do now, seeing how we know what we're doing. So I'm just going to copy this sort of shape. There we go. Let's copy the color, sort of put him there. I think it needs to be smidgen closer. Okay, what if we do this then? If we create a sort of subway look here, this is 100% cursed. It's about finding these little icon bits here. They're difficult to get the curves right, but we can do it. Got to get the thickness to kind of look like it's doing the right thing. Okay, and then we do this horizontal. Oh, this is going to look cool. Okay, we'll bring it into Photoshop and add some shadows to it, I think. Okay, we'll create a selection here just like so. We'll use a nice gradient. 
clipping mask. Oh, this is going to look cool. And that's it on a black background. That's a Subway Netflix one. That doesn't look too bad at all. I'm quite proud of that. I mean, I could have made the arrows a bit smaller, actually. But what if I go ahead and make it actually more like Subway? There's so many things you can do. It's great. Okay, so I'm going to just go ahead and do the same thing. I'm going to offset the path a little bit. Take this, make that, cut this off. Boom. Netflix subway. What about like bringing Nike and Ikea together? Like a Nikea. I think they use Futura and Nike. I am not sure. There we go. What if we do that in blue? If we just pop in the Nike logo here and make it yellow. Oh, wait a minute. I've just found something. What if we put... There we go. That's more like it. Nikea. <laughs> logo mashup of the century that just add an n in front of it i mean that one was quite simple i need something that will actually challenge me a bit more what about pepsi and coca-cola pepsi's got this like new rebrand that's happened this one here it doesn't look too bad coca-cola have stuck with the old-fashioned coca-cola logo one of my favorites i think we're going to use this one here though because this one is a bit easier for me to do stuff with and also to some extent i kind of like it more i'm going to take this guy here and what if we were to write like coke coca cola has two different logos it's got the full one and it's got this one here this coke now what if i wanted to use this one in fact so i'm going to take this one we'll shove it in here for inspiration that logo type there the type there is really nice instead of creating that type by hand which i could do i'm going to try and search for a font i'll open it up in my font app that is definitely the Pepsi font there. Okay, what if I was to write Coke? That looks so strange. It looks so weird. We'll sort out kerning in a minute if I can be bothered about it. That is so weird. Look at that. Let's change the color to red. So it's got the Coke there. I mean, there's a few things that I want to do. Do you see this part here? What if I was to make the C kind of like come down in this cool flourish? <laughs> oh dear, this is not looking very good. I need like a graphics tablet for this. No, this is just embarrassing. I mean, this has got legs. This idea definitely has legs. I can see it working. We just need to move these across a little bit. No, I'm not happy with this. Okay, I'm getting rid of that. I kind of like the look here. To make it look even more Coke, though, I think we need to bring it in and make it look like it's on a can. I've got this can here. Let's just try and bring... First of all, let's just bring in the logo type. A standard Coke can has kind of got the whole logo type all the way through it and this cool line. I think we could do something with this. Okay, so what I think I'll do is I'm going to change this to white for now. I'm going to create like a background of a red. Get the Coke sign quite up. I want to get the icon in there too. So back into Illustrator, I'm going to just steal this icon, scale it down. It might work, it might not. It might look terrible. It just looks wrong. If you're looking at it and thinking that's not it, well, you're, you're probably right. There's a reason why these haven't been mashed up. Okay, bring that new one in here. We could lay it out like this, but on cans, you generally want it to be like to fill the whole area. But what I might do is just stick it in this corner here because I wanna create those lines. I'm gonna create this S curve down here. We'll just make that white too. I'll take this blue color scheme here for a second. What happens if you just put them both together so it's like side by side? I'm gonna copy the background of this and we'll change it to blue. And I'm gonna create a sort of selection around here. I'm gonna mask that blue out. So we have some red and some blue. This weird middle thing needs to move and also be a bit more extreme. Now I can mask this out pretty nicely. So we've got a red side and a blue side. I'll be honest, I'm still not quite happy with this middle thing. I don't think it looks very good. I mean, that looks okay. I kind of like the look of it. It's weird seeing the Coke name in there. I think it looks inherently more American just from the, <laughs> the color scheme that's happening. Maybe that was no accident. What about some like bubbles? Like these packaging are normally very simple, but just to make it look cool, we could add some like bubbles to it maybe. Increase the size scatter them around let's balance this out i just duplicating them maybe we could do a pattern if we really wanted to i have this idea of putting at the top here some like label information we could use like baskerville like classic since 1893 it's old i mean for a couple of minutes it's not bad this weird middle thing i've even named it weird middle thing might need to change ever so slightly but overall, it doesn't look bad. What do you think? Would you buy a Pepsi and Coke mashup? That's weird, right? <laughs> what about Pizza Hut and Popeyes? 
Pizza Hut have rebranded recently, and I quite like it, to be fair. I mean, it is quite minimal. I love the sort of nostalgic type that they've got, but Popeye's, that old logo, this one here, I really like. It. It's quite fun and bouncy. I'm going to match these two together. Let's see what happens. There's a nice font called Obelix, which is quite playful. What I'm going to do is just steal the color from Popeye's there. And to make this even more playful and to give it a different sort of bouncy look, because it kind of looks a bit too uniform right now, I'm going to use something called the Touch Type tool which is here in the character i'm just gonna raise these up this tool is a lifesaver let's bring this around bring that in kind of like just mess around with it really move this over no this z needs to kind of like be smaller it needs it means a bit of difference to it i'm not too first of all that's pretty good the touch type tool is quite nice just to make it things a bit more bouncy i think i'm happy with that that looks pretty good it's got this pizza hut thing up there i think we should like although it's in the pop popeyes fashion it's not as bubbly as i want it to be but we could i don't know we could create that quite easily by just like doing this and flip it around a little trick there and then join them together yeah you know, the bit in the middle here i want to stick it up a bit and round it make it into more of a hat like popeyes it's got nothing to do with Popeyes, I'll be honest with you. Okay, I'm going to actually change the color to the black here to give it that Pizza Hut look. I'll be honest, that, that's, that's quite a difference there, isn't there? I quite like this one. This one doesn't look bad at all. I don't see any problems with it. It looks playful. It doesn't have like the sort of Italian, you know, feel to it. I guess that's just marketing that's made me feel like that. But just even having this more playful type looks great. What if I was to like, I don't know, change the composition? of this let's move hut down pizza let's make pizza quite big try and copy that a little bit it takes away from the popeyes a bit i don't feel bad about this one i think that's all right i think that's decent if you let me know what you think the last one is netflix and cabris what happens when we mash these together there's a couple of ways that i could do that i could make netflix a bit more cadbury's if you want to see that subscribe to the channel i might do it in a later video or i could go the easy route and make cadbury's into a netflix logo and see what it looks like on an actual chocolate bar hey bebas new i think it's this one and then they've also got this like effect going on so i'm gonna go to warp we'll go choose one of these that work well it'll be this one oop that's a bit too much it just needs to be ever so slight that'll do how's that it's not perfect that's what i'll do there that is the cadbury netflix one but what does it look like on actual candy bars i've got a candy bar mock-up here let's try and put this in so we'll put a smart object in straight away i'll choose the actual color that i want that purple we'll create a background for this and yet we can't use the red either that contrast that is just hellish isn't it I'll be honest, that's not too bad. Something that always works with purple is like gold. I've got this gold coming in. Let's just bring this down. Clip it over the top of the logo. Oh, that looks 10 times better. And we'll even change the levels on this. Make it a bit brighter. Not too bright, but just bright enough. I like that, but it's missing some of the characteristics of like candy. Obviously being milk chocolate. So like, oh, I like dairy. Milk. Is that what they write? I don't know. We could just lay that down there. I like the fact that Cadbury's is quite large on the top. Let's scale that down. I was thinking in the background, we could actually create like some milk flowing without it sounding weird. <laughs> flowing from the candy bar. Like, something like this. I don't know. Where it looks a bit different. We can give it a highlight as well. That would be a good idea, actually. What about bringing that around like so? Okay. Does that look like milk or like the Alps? <laughs> Uh, we're sticking with it anyway. Like create some like, other milk drops here. I don't know. This looks kind of strange so far. I might delete all of this. <laughs> it's not too bad, is it? Let's scale it down. Give it a bit of a whoop. Okay, I've got me a milk jug here. Can I do that object select thing? Let's go ahead and select the milk, hopefully. Good enough. I don't know, do, you, do you normally find jugs of milk on chocolate bars i don't think so and then the logo itself i'm going to create a drop shadow on him and give it some boom from the background and on top i can try and give it a bit of shine i don't know if that shine worked very well this should hopefully give a bit more of a shiny shine with a bit more shine in the corners like that i don't know where i'm going with this guys but it looks 
Okay. It, <laughs> I don't want to say it, but it kind of looks strange on the left here. May have to create more of these little things. Well, that was a fail in the Cadbury's milk chocolate. I mean, it's not too bad, to be fair. I'm going to get rid of this, like, weird thing there. I think it's a bit right side heavy. But to make the background feel even more royal, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to the actual color purple as well. That might help people understand. There, that looks a lot better, right? I prefer that. Make it bright a bit at the background. There's the Cadbury's Netflix style i could have i should have put stranger things in there that might have been an idea put it in the background if you enjoyed this video thanks very much for watching subscribe and check out this logo video here where it's seven mind-blowing logo design tips a bit more of a serious video too